So previously we have talked about SDXL Turbo for real-time prompt image generation. Today, I have integrated the IP adapter in this workflow with SDXL Turbo in Comfy UI. And I'm turning this image into this image. Look at how cool this image is. And then I turn to this image, adding a volcano behind the mountain of it. Also, look at this mountain view, landscape image. Then I turn into a volcano image. Let's check it out. How can we do that? So this is our previous created SDXL Turbo text to image workflow and we have to get started with this and make sure this is working. In right here, we enable the auto queue and let it run for the first time to test it out. And let's try out some prompts. For example, I type snowstorms here and you see the windows outside is snowing and lightning. And yes, this workflow is working pretty good. So we are going to pause this auto queue at this moment, and then we are going to integrate the IP adapter with this workflow. In here, I already create the IP adapter group, so you can drag and drop the existing image from anywhere like Mid Journey or your previous stable diffusions images here. But before that, we have to connect this to our SDXL Turbo workflow. By doing this, first connect the load checkpoint models to here, the apply IP adapter purple dot, then the output of this apply IP adapter connect to our sampler custom and also connect to our SD turbo scheduler. So yes, that is all we have to do to modify this workflow and enable IP adapter with that. So let's click run and yes, we have the IP adapter enabled. And as you can see, the generate image, adopt the reference image from IP adapter. And also it shows the lightning outside a window and snowstorm from my text prompt. One thing to remember, if you want to, the image use your text prompt as some of the image element. Remember not to use 1.0 weight in IP adapter. It's like tell the AI 100% use the IP adapter as prompting for new image. So I set 0.7 here, it means 70% of my new image reference from IP adapter prompting. Let's try another one. As you can see, when I load up a new image here, this workflow will auto loading the output image on the right side. And as you can see, it's reflecting as the tropical forest. And then it also including my text prompt lightning because of the 0.7 weight setting. And then I put some river flooding and the water moving fast. See, as you can see right now, the preview image on the right side here, keep refreshing as I type. And also I want to add some animal like a tiger near the river. This SDXL turbo is faster than my typing. Hold on. Let's say I want one tiger only and let's close up the tiger a little bit. And also I want the tiger looks like standing up. Yeah. So the SDXL Turbo is really working with the IP adapter. As you can see, my preview image on the right here is almost the same style and elements with my load image. Let me organize the workflow here so we can see it clearly. Okay, so as you can see right here, the tropical forest and the tiger is near the rivers and it is referring the style from my input image. And of course, I can just switch the keywords from tiger to monkey. And there you have a monkey near the river. All right, let's do a few more examples with SDXL Turbo with IP adapter. Let's go back to our modern living room picture. And then let's modify this text prompt with something else. I don't want thunder on my ceiling. Instead, I have lightning outside a window, as you can see, is refreshing the new image real time. And let's try the cyberpunk style city view here. Okay, I don't want the robot standing on the road. Let's get rid of it. This time, I want to show another way to reeve different image from your output. On the sampler custom, you can click the noise seed, change the number here, and it will generate another image for you if you don't like the outcome after you text prompting. So there you go cyberpunk style city street view with raining and 
Let's try fruit. Actually, a lunchbox. Okay, yeah. I don't want raining on my lunchbox. Uh, I want to try put a lunchbox on the table with some knives, but just remind you that you have to lower down the IP adapter weight. So that just like in this example here, I got 0 0.5 for the IP adapter weight, and you can do some text prompting, and it will include both the IP adapter image and also your text prompt in the outcome image. So like this landscape mountain view here, I have fast forward the recording for this one. Just want to get one good image and save it. And then I can bring over to my latent upscale image workflow and make it more detail and enhancing the color of it. There you go. So that is it for this tutorial about SDXL Turbo with IP adapter. Hope you guys got inspiration from this and go play around with this workflow. I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh yes. And thank you to my supporters. You guys are awesome.